So here's the question on everyone's mind. Can I get this machine to do my work for me? Greetings fellow DIYer and welcome to my video. This video is actually the result of several videos that I've done. You may recognize these two throttle bodies on my Frankenstein EFI. If you're familiar with my channel, you may also know that I recently did a shootout between Pine Sol and Purple Power to determine which one would be better to use as a silk. And my conclusion for that video, really you should go watch it, but in case you want to skip ahead, get the cliff notes, Pine Sol is great for anything aluminum, Purple Power works great for anything that is steel. So here are my two throttle bodies. They're both fairly dirty, fairly caked with stuff. And I'm gonna put this one in the ultrasonic cleaner for a while. Now, I'm not sure exactly how long. I will let you know on the other side, once they are cleaned, how long it ended up being in the ultrasonic cleaner. I've never used one of these before, and so I'm not quite sure exactly how long it's gonna need to be there. This one, we're gonna put in just a pine sol soak, and it's gonna get a full 24 hours. The conventional internet wisdom is that to soak carburetors in pine sol, you need 24 to 48 hours. So we're gonna give this 24 hours, we're gonna use this as a baseline, and then this one will get the time in the ultrasonic cleaner to be determined. Now, so that you don't think I'm doing any weird internet magic or anything like that, if you look right there, the one that's going in the ultrasonic cleaner says 317, and the one that is getting the general soak says 318. Now, I chose to put this one in the ultrasonic cleaner because it's dirtier. I'm pretty sure the ultrasonic cleaner is going to take care of this in no time flat but I wanted to make it as challenging as possible. So we are definitely putting the dirtier one in here. If we look at the bottom, they are very similar. This one does have a little more dirt and grime in this idle air circuit passage, but I don't think it's gonna be an issue. So let's get these in their soaks and we will see just how effective this ultrasonic cleaner really is. If you've seen that video that I mentioned about Pine Sol and Purple Power, you'll know that I mentioned that heat can have an effect on how well these solutions work as a cleaner. I live in the frozen north. My shop is typically about 45 degrees when I'm not working and my garage actually gets a little colder than that. This ultrasonic cleaner has a heat option and I really want this to be an apples to apples comparison. So we are not gonna use the heat part of it. We're just gonna do the ultrasonic cleaning at the temperatures in the shop. All right, this is a five liter ultrasonic cleaner and that container of pine saw that I had especially after dumping some on the other throttle body was not enough to fully submerge it. So 15 minutes ago, I went to the hardware store and picked up another jug. Shouldn't affect the results as I started soaking the other one first and it's likely that this is going to be the better solution anyway. Well, that's gonna make a nice mess. So let's go ahead and turn this on and see what happens. After being on for less than 30 seconds, I had to shut it off because I wanted to reposition the camera so you can really see this. 
look at that cloud of grime and gunk around the outside of this. That's just the result of the short amount of time that this was on. All right, it's been going for 10 minutes. This has a built-in timer, and so I was easily able to get it timed. Let's take the lid off. That cloud is just so impressive to me. Let's reach in. That is next level. I mean, I am completely shocked at how clean that is after only 10 minutes of soaking. I knew it was gonna work, but I never expected it to work like that. We're gonna put that in for another 10 minutes, and then I think I'm gonna give it a thorough rinse, and I have a feeling at that point, we're pretty much gonna be clean. Let's take a peek at the one that's been soaking for the last hmm, roughly half an hour with my trip to the hardware store and see if there's anything close to that same kind of result. I reach in and I pull this out. We are definitely cleaner. And if I rub the areas that are dirty, they do clean up. But the gunk and grime is still sitting on there pretty decently. Now, this test is not to show that Pine Sol works as a carburetor dip. This test is to show effectiveness of the ultrasonic cleaner. So what I'm gonna do, I really don't wanna scrub on this. I want uh, these dark spots in here to really have the opportunity to soak and kind of clean themselves. So I'm gonna put this back in and I'm just gonna give this 24 hours. And even if the result is exactly the same, if both of these throttle bodies come out clean, we've shown just the effectiveness. This still has some scrubbing and stuff that would need to be done to it after the half an hour soak. And we'll see how it looks by this time tomorrow. 24 hours of soaking and we have some results. This is the one from the ultrasonic cleaner, 317. And there's a few spots deep inside there, down deep in here where the crankcase evacuation gases come in. But for the most part, it's super clean, even down in you know holes and pits without any effort. There was no scrubbing there. All I did is rinse this off when it came out of the ultrasonic cleaner. This one did get scrubbed ever so lightly. I just, just hit it super lightly with a brush. This was 24 hours in the soak. And you can see there's still quite a bit of, of gunk and crud attached to it. Now, there is nothing wrong with the soaking technique. If I did not have this ultrasonic cleaner, I would have scrubbed this a little harder and then I'd have put it back in the soak for another 24 hours. And I have a feeling after two soaks and a little elbow grease, we could get it to look like this. But the whole point of this is I wanted to test this out and see if it is as good as I anticipated it to be, and frankly, it is. Why would I want to spend an hour, hour and a half scrubbing this when this is the result with no effort? Now, don't get me wrong. I am not a lazy human being. I am just an extremely busy human being. I have so many projects, so many things going on, and why would I want to spend an hour scrubbing this when I could spend that hour editing a video for you to watch or working on another project in my shop. So this is actually gonna go in this, and I may throw this one in for another round as well, just to finish getting these cleaned up and get the few little spots that are not perfect. Perfect. Now, I've linked this in the description, but price shop. When I purchased this from Amazon, the price was $159.99, and then it was on sale for $20 off. Now, that was two months ago. The sale is over, and now the price has gone up to $199.99. Now, I said earlier in the video that this was a 5 liter. This is actually a 15 liter. It is definitely a perfect size. I'll be able to put both of these bodies in this to give them a good cleaning. A person could probably get away if you're just doing carburetors and small parts with a 10 liter, and that's gonna cost you a little less, but price shop. 
I provide these links so that you can easily get stuff, but in doing so, I always try to find the best prices that I can. With the price of this at Amazon going up significantly, I went back to the internet and I checked one more source, and walmart.com actually has this exact same unit for $25 cheaper than the Amazon link. Now, I'm going to put the Amazon link in the description, and I'm going to put the Walmart link in the description. I'm doing that because some people prefer Amazon, even though it's a little more expensive. But either way, if you want to get this exact unit, the unit that I'm very happy with, check out the links in the description. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.